welcome back to another video by Amateur Priority Toys. Today I'm going to be looking at the Ultimate Shaman Predator from Predator 2 by NECA. So, let's start with the box, of course. As you can see, we got some nice artwork of the Shaman Predator. And we got some cool uh, xenomorph skulls right here. Number seven in the line, Ultimate Shaman Predator, Predator 2. And on the back, we got some nice pictures of how we can pose the Predator, use his accessories, as well as other figures to look for in the line. 30th anniversary. So, as you can see, I picked this guy up for $34.99, which is probably the best deal you could get for uh, a NECA Predator figure now. Most NECA figures, since the price hikes, go for about $36, so I actually found this guy at a toy store uh, when I was on vacation last week, $34.99. I was pretty excited about this figure, so I couldn't pass it up. And as you can see, I've actually already opened him. I, uh, I couldn't wait, but uh, there he is. Looking really cool. All right, well, let's take a closer look at the figure. Okay, so here he is out of the box, the Ultimate Shaman Predator. So mine came boxed um, like this. It had the poncho and the skull mask um, in the box. He had this head on. But I've seen that some people are finding him uh, packaged with the skull mask and the poncho already on him. So mine was packaged the other way. So here he is. He looks really good. As usual, uh, NECA does a very good job with uh, her Predator the sculpting on like uh, his skin texture. He's got a little necklace here uh, with different little skulls and things. He's got all his individually sculpted tentacles or dreadlocks, whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> looks really good and of course his face looks really really nice see his eyes right there his mouth is open I really like that so he's got all the all the same basic articulation that the predators have he's got double jointed knees uh, it's like a ball joint in his feet He's got the thigh swivel, he's got the waist, upper torso, head articulation, um, double jointed elbows, and uh, looks like ball jointed wrists. So he comes with uh, one set of open hands, he also has a right one. <clears throat> he has a bigger open hand that's going to be for holding his axe. He has a smaller opening hand, which will be for the staff. And then he has this hand. It's kind of like cupping hand. I think this might be for holding his fists. I'm not sure. But we'll, uh, we'll play around with it right now. And we'll figure it out. So, let's go over his accessories. Okay, so I just went over his hands, like I said. He has his closed disc, and he also has the disc that's open. You can see both sides. He's got a dagger. He has the skull axe, which is probably my favorite accessory, other than the poncho. This looks really cool. Staff, a 
and he also has this bloody skull, which the blood on it looks really nice, really glossy. Um, I really like the way NECA is able to get their blood effects. It looks really good. And then of course he has his poncho, which is my favorite accessory. Um, cloth goods, you know, I, I love my cloth goods. Um, we'll put that on him in a second. And then we also have the skull mask, of course. So let's go ahead and uh, switch his heads and get his poncho on. Okay, here he is with his poncho. It looks very nice. Uh, I love how tattered it looks. It's got holes. Uh, it looks like it's like double lined, which is really nice. It's fringed here at the edges. A bit longer in the back, it goes down to uh, about his ankles on this side and top of his calf on this side. Looks really good. Um, up here he does have a wire so you can bend it to fit his shoulders very nicely. Uh, you do have to take the head off to get it on, but it looks really, really nice. Okay, I've been holding his skull with the axe coming out the forehead. Really like this accessory. His skull mask, the details in it, like the shading, it looks really nice, as you can tell. I'll be able to get some great toy photography with this mask. I really, really like it. So I have his, uh, his kind of cupped hand. I figured out what it was for. If you look at his skull, there's actually a, a little hole there at the base. That's gonna be for his thumb. Put that in there. Come on. Doesn't want to go now. There we go. So you can hold the skull. And here he is holding one of his discs and holding his dagger. His dagger also has some nice blood on it. It doesn't have the same uh, shine that the skull does. It's not very glossy, it's just kind of a dark, dark red. But it still looks good. And here I got his disc in one of his hands. And the last accessory we have to look at is his staff, which as you can see up here, it's got like um, the predator like claws. It looks like he took two of them and just has them stuck up here. It's also got some more bones, an accessory to dangle. Yeah, all the bone structures and around all his accessories and him look really good he's got everything just looks like it's made of bones this little piece right here yeah it's just uh it's a really well designed figure really well sculpted um, but i do have just a couple issues um and one of those being the staff the staff is very very flimsy as you can tell, this will break very easily. If he falls off a shelf, I can see this breaking. If he falls in a way where weight is, some weight is put on it, it'll break. Um, it just doesn't feel as sturdy as the other staffs that like other predators have come with. Um, that's probably my number one complaint. So I would suggest getting his hand on here and then sticking his hand on to his, his body. It's a little bit easier to maneuver the hand onto the staff just by itself. So mine will probably forever stay like this uh, just because I don't want it to break. Here you get a better look. Um, the top part. 
So yeah, I don't know if this was NECA maybe trying to save a little money since, you know, they were including some cloth goods. Um, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm a little, not very happy about that. Um, I have one other little complaint and that is here on his belt where he would keep his discs. Um, I thought this was just covered and you could lift this up, but no, this is all one like big rubber piece. So you cannot store his discs on his belt in any other way. It's a much thinner rubber than um, other predators have. So here I have my Predator 2 Predator, and you see his uh, is a, it's much sturdier um, and you can you can kind of jimmy these in there and have them kind of sit in there a little bit like that um, you cannot do that with, with this one so it, this part to me feels cheap it feels a very thin rubber like I said, uh, just a little disappointing, um, but you know, I don't want to complain too much because the rest of the figure is just done so nicely. Like, like I mentioned, all the different like bones, you know, even here in the dagger, it all just is sculpted so nicely and it's painted pretty nicely. Um, I just, I really wish that uh, the staff was better. But yeah, those are my only two complaints. I really like this guy. Definitely recommend him. Especially if you're able to get him for the price I was able to get. That was a great deal. So, yeah, I definitely recommend the Shaman Predator. Especially if you're a big Predator fan. If you have a big Predator collection. Uh, he looks great. Okay, and here is the Shaman Predator amongst some other Predator figures. For some comparison, there he is next to the Alpha Predator, which is still probably my favorite figure for Predators. I think the Shaman is a close second. Yeah, there they are, all together. And really quickly, if you're curious to what he looks like next to the Xenomorph figure, this is my ultimate big chap from the first alien. Yeah, he scales nicely with him as well. Okay, guys. So let me know what you guys think of the ultimate shaman predator. I definitely think he's worth picking up. I love the sculpting, the paint. He comes with some nice accessories. And of course, my favorite part the cloth goods so what do you guys think of him and also let me know what's your favorite predator figure that you have um, I'm curious all right guys thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more reviews and unboxings and check out my Instagram for some toy photography all right guys thanks bye well guys I said that his staff was flimsy and on my first outing to take photographs of him, it has already snapped. I was just trying to remove his hand, and it just snapped. So, uh, be very, very careful with it if you end up getting this figure. It is a major issue.